Hello, Good afternoon all. Hello. Hiya. Um, hopefully everyone's got the link to the docs. Let me chat again. Those have joined.
Uh, right, okay, so let's crack on. Uh, so there's no new announcements that I'm aware of that need to be shared. Um, the only update to this section is um, so a note. So I've moved this had the main KubeCon as it in person only, which is not, um, it's just the colo events that are in person. So I've just updated that. And um, we've seen us shared a link in Slack, which I've put on here about the marketing prospectuses for colo events for KubeCon EU23. There's a interest form if you want to fill that in and find out how much it is to sponsor a colo event. Um, any other events that people are aware of that are, aren't listed here that are of interest to this group? Can everyone see my screen, by the way? No. Yeah, we see it. We see it fine. Thanks. Um, okay, let's have a look at the PRs then. In that case, we'll have a review of the PRs and the issues. So there aren't any open PRs at the moment. Uh, there are some open issues, and I think there were some notes. For two of them, for Victor and Taylor to start drafting something. Um, I don't know if that's been completed since or whether they're still. Uh, I don't expect this is for these two, is it? These two. Yeah, yeah. I haven't started like the, the document yet, but that's the idea. I started like doing that document for multi interface uh, best practice. This one, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, yeah, it's the same tune, it's good. And this one, I think, was assigned to Taylor. Yeah, cool. Okay. The top one is, and if you can go back to the PR, so the, there was a ticket that was open for a good while, and that Lucina, I think, finished and merged recently this one's a new one on the cnf dev now, the other one was a single category but now it's pretty far out of sync um, mm -hmm. overall so we need to review and and look at um the test categories from the test suite and and then looking at the best cnf which was um something i think robbie put together at the start as just a here's a idea for what we could do um so I, I think there should be more in sync especially for being able to maintain them um and i think most of the content's available to to copy over into those areas like there was some stuff that was tbd uh, okay. things, but there's a lot more over in the on the test suite side so i, th I yeah. think it's more of a um like yeah compatibility and solubility upgradability is a it's a somewhat collapsed category instead of having stuff split out so um microservices those are normal reliability resilience availability i think that one is the same type of category maybe just the naming was different so um i should probably know this but for some of these for example you know it's fairly clear what the best practice is and you know what, what's being tested and therefore what's flagged as being not the best practice for things like network latency or 
I don't know. The increasing, decreasing capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anywhere in the CNF test suite repo that describes what the the thresholds that are being tested are? That we can backport into the best practice document. Um, so I guess the answer is the different um, descriptions and informations about why things are tested is available. And so the content's there, but it's, it's going to be in different places on the test suite side. Yeah. Okay. So why it's tested, there's a, a document just for that in the test suite that's focused on the why and then the what and the how. So all of that's kind of split out. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, that makes sense though, to sort of reverse engineer this document to the best practices for CNF developers. Doc. And this is really just talking table of contents. <laughs> that's yeah. what that tick was. It was related to another ticket. Um, that was about adding one category to this whole thing. And that's been done. The resilience category was added at number 10. Right. But the reworking of the table of contents is why there's a new ticket. And then I think beyond that would be probably a lot of other tickets that need to happen to to break down the the work on what you were so, talking about, which would be good. Uh, yeah. Take the different tests, and then and then we're adding them in as best practice. Now, what I would say is we start with the ones that we have one published. Uh, there's um, we need to publish the best practices, and then they can be you know brought into. Uh, that document. That document is supposed to reference each of the best practices. So right now, they, you know, the the first one we had published was don't use root in your as your uh, pro for your processes in your containers. Yeah. But we could go through and yeah, because that's. I I think it should be different tickets. So don't try to do it as one big ticket. Add all yeah, of yeah. the tests. Def definitely. So they don't use root bits in here, isn't it? Yeah. One of these. So there's, there's a different document for each of these. Right. Um, and so we could have a, a short little, um, some at least reference the no root in, in within the category area of the dev doc. Hmm. So if people are going through and they say, oh, I'm interested in security or whatever they mm -hmm. want to focus on, they can click, find it in the main doc and click through to the underneath. So we yeah, have something like, in section seven, which is a link through to the, the detail, mm -hmm. detail page that we've done. Yeah, each of those could have like a bullet points. Here's the best practices for these areas. Yeah, yeah. Sound like a balloon. It's my door, it's really squeaky. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I've made a note about that just in the in the issue. So at the moment that's assigned to you and uh, Lucina actually you know, is is that just because you've authored it or are you planning to do it as well? Um, I mean, if, you know, ideally we get some help, but eventually we want it to reflect. That's, you know, the, the idea is to have all of these things tied together. Um, we could definitely use help though, review, you know, reviewing and saying, okay, can we, is it okay to just match the categories? So, and if it is, then that'll um, make it a little bit easier. If it's not, then we're going to have to 
have some type of reference where people come in and looking at the working group and say, how does this relate to the the categories and the test suite and, and the certification, which is also there. And of course, the other part is maintaining. So we've already, you know, fallen off some on this, but if they're in sync and they have the same categories, then anytime there's an update in one side, then it can also be, you know, at least create a ticket to update on another side. Yeah, well, I, I was just sort of thinking about that, whether we, in this page or some mm -hmm. document in the CNF test suite, we wanted to link back. So, you know, for example, checks root user, we can have a link back to the page that then has a link to the detailed um, document about not we using root. We could cross link to test as well. So the, the working group docs have mainly been about the what and why, mm -hmm. not how things are done, how it's yeah. implemented or anything. Is we, it tested? Would, if we're gonna do that, then we could link over like runtime analysis this has a section referencing Falco, but mm -hmm. it doesn't, <clears throat> It, I don't think it links directly to the no root and containers test over there. <clears throat> but no. we could do that would be a cross cross link on that. Um, I think that would be useful just to kind of get a clearer view on the link between the working group best practices and the test suite tests. And then and then we can over time probably more clearly delineate having the the why on in the working group and the how in the test suite um, and not having to overlap and repeat ourselves yeah the main thing is having enough people to are we going to have people to maintain yeah if not then it's kind of been as the tests were written make sure that there's some write-up in the um as the as the why but we could split things off if it makes sense and there's a collaboration and ownership better which we want we want better collaboration and ownership yeah definitely. so the the before we go into that though the t uh, and that should be a new ticket like add for this one non-root add links to the test suite for the, the um the test that's checking for non-root and I think there's um, maybe a couple of variations. So we'll need to figure that out. But if there's a ticket open on this one, we can add it just to this document. So a new ticket. And then the other was just, if we can get some feedback from folks on the categories in the test suite and if it's if we can match them in the CNF working group uh, table of contents, because that's yeah. the like the very very first step. If if that's good with everyone, then that'll be we move forward on that ticket. I'll hold I'll hold for a minute while you're doing this stuff. That's okay. Um, so the table of contents being this one, do you mean? Or the one in the test suite. Uh, update this one to, to match. So the question is, can we match the categories um, in the test suite in this document that you're showing? Yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the issue you've created. Is can we make that table of contents match this structure that's in this document? Yeah, when mainly just the titles. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And then once we've done that. I'm then creating an issue to, for just for one example, for linking the the, the non-root test within the test suite back to the no, non-root best practice within the CNF working group docs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you, on the test suite, can you open a new document? Yeah.
uh, I think it's probably a couple of documents to look at. One is like list of tests. It may be under the, is it under the docs directory? Let's see, test categories. Oh, there it is. So open that one. And then the other one was um, called, and there's a link in that, so you could go to the one, but there's rationale. Oh, so yeah. if, if you find the one um, called root and you'll see it, it goes to it. So these are more minimal. Gotcha. Okay. Test suite. Yeah. So I'm not trying to duplicate entire focus document on a best practice yeah. within the test suite because that the idea is the working group would have those larger documents yeah but the rationale has the short version and a link to more content for each of those uh that non-root link do you see that in the this title one, this one here yeah yeah i think uh you might go to the yeah, the list of tests, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Work. maybe it's changed or something. Yeah, probably changed. Or disappeared. Yeah, one we can take. Okay. So that's where it should link to, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, that provides more info. Um, there's a usage link, that link. Uh, the, did the non-root go to the code, just the title? Yes, it looks like it goes yeah. through some code. So we, I mean, you know, we don't have to focus on this, but that's, there was a question earlier about what, what are they, um, for that one test, do we have the information on the limits or whatever it was? <laughs> and s some of them aren't in the docs and they keep being adjusted. So we'll need to, you know, if it becomes a best practice we'll need to decide like, is this something that we're specifying? Yeah. And for some of them, I anticipate that it may be a range or, a, you know, some type of guideline. Yeah. Here's what we've seen. And that sort of thing may change. Like the startup time as, as more applications move over and there's improvements and other things, then it may reduce, you know, size of applications, what's reasonable and other things. Yeah. So we'll have to keep that in mind that we're, we're writing living documents. We don't expect them to be set in stone for forever, not for 18 months or a year. It's however long that they're realistic and we'll update them otherwise. Yeah, anyway, I, know, I, know, I think it's fine to, to link to the code if that's the best place to document it. And that's still valid, isn't it? Yeah. And so we can, it, I would probably say link to the list of tests um, rather than the code, because we'll update the, the code links in this document anytime. The, and yeah. Uh, anytime that changes in the code. So if a test is updated, modified, sometimes replaced because it's refactored out and we get like a, a totally new version from someone upstream. Yeah, yeah. And those will update. But from the CNF working group, if we link to the list of tests, then that, that'll be fine. And then people can click through for more. That makes sense. Of course, that one I think didn't work for some reason. Oh, it's, it's just the type, the heading's been changed, and therefore the anchor's changed as well. Oh, non root. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, and so not to the rationale, you know, keep that as it is as well. That makes sense. For now. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't get picked up by the lint checks. Oh, it's in a different repo as well. Different repo. Yeah, fine, 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 fine. fine. Okay. Um. Okay, that's clear, I think. So <clears throat> And the only other issue we haven't discussed is this one. Are we expecting Ian to respond or I don't know how active he is at the moment? Yeah, basically we were expecting a response from Ian, but he hasn't said anything yet, so I don't know. I, I've, I, I think he's, um, been taken away from a lot of this he's just sent the first response last week to a totally different question uh, that jeffrey had and i think he's probably not going to be available so we <laughs> will need to just take it on ourselves yeah okay should i remove him as an assignee just to i think so reduce the number of github emails he gets as well um okay so, um, Victor, do you reckon it, if you're happy with that, do you reckon we, you need a review from anyone else instead of being? Okay, I'm probably could take a look. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Um, Oh, thank you. That's good. Right. Um, any other business? Okay. I think, is it next week that there is no call? Let me just double check. Yeah, I think next week the call's been cancelled. Is that correct? Or have I got that wrong? Uh, um, I don't know. What, what's going on next week? Um, I'm not sure. Um, it's not in my calendar. It might have just been me. Uh, no, it's on. I think... Let's see. Yeah, it's on. I will resend. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, I see what happened. It's You just replied no. Yeah, I think I wasn't able to make it by end there. That's sorry, my computer. Yeah, it's fine. Victor's leading next week. Okay, brilliant. Okay, anything from anyone else? Otherwise, have a great day. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Cheers, all. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hello.